All right, time for an update on the 50 kilowatt. And once it's built out, 100 kilowatt mining farm. As you can see, we got the, uh, the wall up, the divider. I went ahead and painted everything so it doesn't look as, uh, as gnarly as it did in the first video. I've got the cutout for the first fan. I'm going to be able to put three fans, maybe four across the back here. But I think one fan is going to be enough for the first set of miners that I'm going to run in here. I've got the cutout over there. Let me bring you in here. Got the cutout over there for the exhaust. I still have to put, I'm going to put a slanted roof out here to keep, keep the rain and the, the wind from blowing in. I should, I'll probably slant it down below this level here. Then I'm going to put a screen across and some hog panel to kind of secure things. And this is, I've got a few of these shelves so the, the ant miners fit in here pretty nice. Let me show you. They are going to go in just like this. Well, let me put it down here so you can see a little better how this is going to go. I'll have to put some, some kind of blocking in there. Let me get um, a piece of 2 by 4 here. This is all going to fit pretty good. See, I'll put a 2x4 across there, and the miners are going to butt up against each other. I'll be able to get four per shelf to butt up against each other, and then I'm going to have slots in this window that the, the miners are going to exhaust out those slots. We're going to have positive air pressure from the fan. Um, I got to do a door here yet. I think I'm just going to do a slider and I have to I have to seal everything up around the top. What, once the shelves in place, what I'll do is do kind of a miniature hot aisle. So I'll have some plywood on the sides that'll go up, that'll butt up against here. So that way the exhaust is going to blow out out the slots that I, that I have here for them. Um, once everything's sealed up, should be able to get pretty good air pressure in here. I mean, it, just this one fan moves, moves a lot of air. quite a bit of air so I think it'll be enough to pressurize this place once it's all sealed up to pressurize it and blow the air out that way and then this area is going to be for the inverters I'll put the electric panel I'll, I'll cut a, a hole through this plywood here for the electric panel. It'll be a flush mount so that all the cables will come out the back here out of the breaker panel. And I'll, I'll, mount, the, uh, I'll mount the inverters. I'll be able to get, well this, this side might be tight. I'll put, I'll put one here for now and then I can put three inverters on this side. I can put and put one inverter on this wall. I'm probably going to put some uh, some of this flooring up against up, up against here, wherever the inverters mount. Um, that's like a almost a three quarter inch flooring, so that'll be plenty good enough to hold uh, to hold the inverters. And then I'll have I don't know yet what I'm going to do with the batteries. I was thinking I might actually put the batteries 
there's another room over there. I might put the batteries over there. But yeah, the, maybe the first first inverter I might I might put an LG battery in here just to get things started. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. I'd rather keep the batteries out of here. And then this this area we'll go ahead and put a mini split in here too. We'll insulate it and uh, and put a mini split in here for the summertime so that the inverters have a nice conditioned space and it'll be sealed off from the miners there, no heat will come over here from the miner side so what do you guys think anything I'm missing here if you have any good ideas let me know I think we're in good shape here I, I should probably I should probably be able to get this thing fired up maybe next week I'm gonna put some more solar panels out right straight out there now I got to do some trenching into here. I only have about uh, 1,600 watts of solar on on this building right now, so that'll that'll be enough to get things started. I'm, this building is on the microgrid, so I can pull power in from from the main inverter in the in the solar shed. So there you go. Just a quick update. And like I said, if you guys have any any ideas what I should do in here, would appreciate it. All right, I appreciate you, and we'll catch you on the next one. Adios.